what is going on guys it's your board Goose here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the glitch text effect um, you guys may have seen this a few other places so let's go ahead and start it up uh, first thing to do is make a black uh, background or any other dark color really um, the best kind of text to do this on would probably be typograph pro or uh, something along you know those lines so right now we're on twisted stallion so her stallions so typograph pro we'll do uh, we'll go with extra bold for this um, we'll do example so alright let's make the text pretty big on this so let's try 400 that is 350 all right, that that seems fair enough. So we actually want the text to be straight white, which it is on. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, honestly, the, it's it's really easy. Um, you just let's see if we can do this. Going to Control J, Control J, nothing changed. So we're gonna go to that, we're gonna go to the blending options uh, uncheck R for your top layer and you guys might not be able to see much of anything right now but you will soon uh, go into the blending options for this uncheck the green and then for the bottom layer uncheck or oops uncheck the B for blue now uh, the top layer is the red we want to move it to the I think it's let me see uh, we can move it to the right or the left it doesn't matter I'm gonna move mine to the left and if you guys can see it gives it kind of a 3d effect uh, you can also move these up and down it doesn't really matter uh, I'm gonna keep mine exactly where they are for right now um, and as you guys can see it's already had that 3d effect um, now to make it to where or once you get the text uh, exactly how you want it uh, say if you want the blue all the way out here which would not look good so I don't know why you'd want to do that but whatever you know whatever you guys want um, once you get it to where you want it um, you know merge all of these with control E or command D or you can right click and you know uh, where is it merge layers wherever it is see merge image or whatever um, once you do that you want to merge them and once you have merged them you should you know be able to it's all one layer and then you want to grab your uh, rectangular marquee tool or single row marquee whatever you want I'm going to use rectangular um, you guys pretty much just want to you know pick out certain sections and then what you want to do is you want to uh, control C delete it uh oh yeah and then control V to paste then once you do that you should see how I lined them up you want to kind of just mess with them um, and see it gives it that nice glitchy effect which is something that I really really love um, we're, gonna, we're just gonna do it a few more times here uh, we'll make this one a little thicker <laughs> a little thicker uh, we'll do this one with three letters um, that seems right uh, control C delete control V and as you can see it kinda moved it in we'll move this one to the left some more uh, we're gonna, you don't want it you know too far out but you want it to where it you can tell where it's been um, go back to example and then for this one we'll do we'll do the we'll do something like something like that right there uh, that should be that should be perfect so control C delete control V and it spawned in pretty or not spawned <laughs> we're not playing Call of Duty uh, it kinda uh, pasted in pretty good so as you guys can see that's pretty much uh, the glitch text effect type of thing uh, we're just gonna do a little bit more to the text here um, we'll do the M we'll make these little controls uh, yeah control C for copy um, delete control V to paste I think it's command V or something like that. I'm not really sure with Mac we're gonna move these over to the right some 
Um, not really sure what else. Uh, we'll do the E and the X a little bit more. Uh, we'll do we'll do the bottom. Uh, control C, delete, control V. And for this, as you guys can see, it's lined up pretty f or fairly good here. Uh, we'll go over a little bit. We'll go down. So it looks pretty good. Um, if you guys are into the whole glitch text effect thingy um, or style, whatever, uh, you guys might like this. Uh, you can also do different, you know glitches with it you can you know make um do the pen tool and do like a wave with it or something to make it look really cool um it's completely up to you like i said it's completely up to you how you guys use this uh you guys can you know move it uh, move the red and the blue up and down but it's completely up to you you guys should use or you guys can use the rgb effect for 3d banners it gives the um the your render or your text of the 3d uh banner you know more more of a nice little style to it um, but that's pretty much it guys um, I will see you guys in the next tutorial uh, please drop a comment and tell me what else you want to see from me uh, from Call of Duty Minecraft to you know designing whatever um, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I'll probably will do, be doing a Q&A soon um, if you guys haven't checked out my 250 subscriber graphic pack you guys should go check that out it's a huge pack and um I'm gonna be creating an X pack that I'm gonna be, that I'm gonna be putting up to sell, but I will be giving out uh, giving it out to maybe one or two people. Um, I'll have like a little giveaway thing for that, um, and I have a banner I'm thinking of uh, putting up as a giveaway, and I'll just you know contact a winner after a week or two and um, have you know their information uh, so I can put it on the banner and everything and give it to them. Um, but that's pretty much it guys drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed this uh, video uh, drop a sub if you're new and yeah I'll see you guys next time peace